ready for a good old fashion makeup and beauty haul. Boy, have I got the goodies for you. I have gone ahead and done another massive Sephora VIB sale haul and I can't wait to share them all with you. I have a ton of products here on this table. So if you want to see what I bought from the Sephora Spring Savings event, just continue to watch. So y'all, you saw my last massive $5,000 Sephora VIB sale haul that I did during the last Sephora VIB sale in November. I will link that video up here and down in the description box. Actually, it was two videos because it was so massive that I had to split the video into two. So I did part one and part two. I will link both of them up here and down in the description box. It was like the most epic Sephora VIB sale haul I've ever seen, honestly ever seen on YouTube or anywhere. Check out both of those videos down in the description box. Well today I have another massive Sephora VIB sale haul. All the products that I bought during this VIB sale, the spring savings event. So the Sephora sale started on April 1st and Rouge members, that's the highest level of the Sephora Beauty Insider program, they got to start shopping from April 1st and it was only open to Rouge members until the 5th, that's yesterday, and it just opened up to the VIB members and they started shopping yesterday and they can shop all the way until the end of the sale, which is April 11th. The Rouge members get 20% off, and then VIB members get 15% off, and then on the 7th, it opens up to the Beauty Insider members as well, and they get 10% off. So on the 7th, it basically opens up to everybody. So yeah, the sale is still going on, so take advantage of this opportunity and stock up on those beauty essentials or the new exciting products that you had your eyes on, now's the time. I grabbed everything I want as usual. Boy, I have a lot here, so I'm going to try to do this really fast. Actually, this time around, I shopped in store and online. I placed a massive online order when the sale first opened on the very first day, on April 1st, and then I went in the store to buy a bunch more, and I took you guys with me. I vlogged it. I will link that vlog up here and down in the description box. In that vlog, I took you to shop the Sephora sale with me and also I took you perfume shopping so don't miss out on that vlog if you missed it it was uploaded a little late um, last Tuesday I'll link it up here down in the description box so after placing that first massive online order I placed a second online order and it has not arrived yet and I placed a third online order which also has not arrived yet. I am not sure if I should do a part two of this Sephora VIB sale haul and talk more about those products or if I should just mention the ones that are still on the way. I think I'll mention them in the video um, when it comes to the right spot and I will decide later if I want to do a part two of the Sephora VIB sale haul for you all too. So let me know down in the comment section, do you want me to do the part two and talk about the products more in detail or do you just want me to mention them in this video? So I bought three perfumes from the Sephora sale. I have two of them here and one is still on the way. I have here Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. <sighs> You guys, you know I had Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme already. I have the original Love Don't Be Shy and I had the Extreme as well. But I dropped my Love Extreme and I broke it. <sighs> yeah, it was devastating. Well, I mean, maybe not devastating because it's not a death or something, but it was pretty, pretty painful. Yeah, I mean, not to mention it dropped on my royal crown boxes and ruined them all. So you guys, I can't live without this fragrance. This is so beautiful. Here's the box. You know the presentation is beautiful always. Right there, there it is. 
this fragrance is such a compliment getter if you ever wonder whether the original is better or the extreme is better in my opinion extreme is better so you guys know the original is a marshmallow honeysuckle orange blossom fragrance and it has some rose in it as well and this one the extreme shares most of those notes with the exception of a couple um, a few a little bit of changes but the the noticeable difference in here is that the rose in here that scent is heightened and it, it smells a little bit more intense to me and this one is a little bit more sophisticated if you ask me than the original like the original has straight up sugar for example as a perfume note that one is like super sweet whereas this one is not like too takingly sweet oh just stunning of course you smell that beautiful orange blossom and the orange blossom is very prominent in here too um you smell that marshmallow you know all the pretty much a neroli too i believe all those notes that it shares with the original but that rose in here is a little bit more heightened. You can smell the rose. This one is just a fantastic, gorgeous, feminine scent. A compliment getter. My husband loves it. I love to wear this around this time of the year, you know, springtime. If I wear it in the summer, it's usually at nighttime. This one is not available on discount website or anything like that. So take advantage of the Sephora VIB sale. Get that 20% off. Or whatever the amount that you get based on your tier any amount of money off this is amazing Killian love don't be shy extreme so the next one here this is Marc Jacobs perfect intense this one is um, the intense version of the the perfect fragrance I guess I read some amazing reviews about this so I wanted to try it so this is what the bottle looks like I'm not a huge fan of Marc Jacobs bottles because they look a little bit Jordan with these plastic bows and stuff I can smell this right from the automizer but i'm gonna spray it because i kind of want to smell like this today i'm gonna make it my scent of the day oh you guys this one smells like beautiful yellow and white florals i know there are some yellow florals in here i'm gonna guess ylang ylang and i knew right away this had jasmine this has had the most amazing intoxicating jasmine scent and when I looked up the notes, I saw that it has night blooming jasmine, which is like the best kind of jasmine ever. Like I grew up with night blooming jasmine. Oh, it smells amazing in the morning. They bloom in the night and just in the morning, it's like intoxicating scent, like your garden is filled with it, you know. And this obviously has some yellow florals, although I don't think it's revealed in the composition. And this has um, like a little bit of an almondy scent to it. So there's a little bit of almond and definitely sandalwood. I can smell the sandalwood for sure. This would be in my next fragrance haul. So I can tell you more about what it wears like, how long it lasts, projection, all that stuff then in my next haul. Stay tuned. So I ordered Christian Dior poison now this one puzzles me a little bit because the original poison it seems to be the original poison but it's in like a maroon color bottle at least the picture online is but i know the original poison bottle was was green right i mean i i never had the original poison so i don't know i've only seen the pictures supposed to be green but the one i ordered is maroonish kind of like burgundy you know and it doesn't say whether it's eau de parfum or you know eau de toilette it doesn't say the concentration on sephora website but it really intrigued me and i really wanted to get the original poison so i ordered it and i'm very curious to find out what it's like when it arrives if it's the original poison or what it's not available in store or anywhere else that i could find this particular bottle this burgundy bottle i don't know if it, when it arrives it's going to be green i don't know now i'm going to move on to body care products my favorite personally to talk about from the sephora vib sale you guys know of course i bought sol de janeiro products i cannot live without them they're the best when it comes to body care products i absolutely love them you all know the very famous 
Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. It's the one that got the brand started. Really, everybody knows about the Boom Boom Cream. It's supposed to tighten your skin, you know, lift your butt and all that stuff. And it has got this beautiful sheen to it. So I have plenty of Boom Boom Creams that I bought during the last sale and the sale before. I still need to go through them. So I didn't buy the Boom Boom Cream because I have too many of them to go through. But I did stock up on the Brazilian Boom Boom Body Scrub. This stuff is amazing, you guys. I've talked about this product so many times. This has got that same Brazilian Boom Boom scent, which smells like a mixture of vanilla, cake batter, and coconut. It's kind of what it smells like, and this is what it looks like. It is a sugar scrub and it does an amazing job polishing up your body, sloughing off all the dead skin and you know like making your skin baby soft. Love the scent of it after you scrub your body with this, you smell so edible. It has a little bit of like a coconutty, almondy kind of smell mixed with cake butter and vanilla type thing. I love the scent so so much. I still have two more of these in the closet, my, my product closet, so I bought a third one just so that I don't run out until November, until the next VIB sale. Of course, if I run out before that, I'll buy more, but you know, I like to buy my staples during the sale. Why not save money? I also ordered a Luxaton Almond Body Paste. It's supposed to be like an almond body scrub. It had really good reviews. So that's still on the way as well. The next product is the one that I'm most excited to share with you when it comes to body care products. It is the Sol de Janeiro brand's latest body cream. And it is right here. They released a new body cream. This is the Beja Floor Elastic Cream. And this cream is supposed to have retinol, plant, collagens and stuff that's supposed to help with your skin elasticity you know at the same time replenish your skin you know so moisturize and and help with the elasticity of your skin and it's apparently really good and I wouldn't doubt it because every body cream they've released so good um, boom boom cream is amazing as well very popular so I'm very excited to try this one so I have two of them I bought two and I'm thinking you know I should have gotten more the only reason I didn't get any more is because I have like a ton of body creams in my closet that I need to go through still I was so excited for these so let me get the cream out and show you what it's like oh my god it feels so good this is the one product that I did try in store I just used the tester you will see it in the in the vlog I tested it with you guys so this is what the top looks like just like the boom boom cream only pink it's a beautiful light pink which I really like the color and let me show you the consistency of course I'm gonna lift this protective cover thing and this is what the what the cream looks like it's a nice consistency and you guys it feels so good just like boom boom cream and you know other body creams they've released oh, it's, it just feels so comforting and it has the most amazing scent i love it it's hard to it reminds me of a scent that i'm familiar with but i can't my, can't put my finger on it but this is what the hand feels like it feels very moisturized and and just supple you know feels like and looks supple it definitely definitely looks like a body cream that would really work well this really reminds me of one of my fragrances yeah i mean if i ever find out what it is i will probably layer them together because they smell exactly the same so this has retinol so i don't know if, if this is going to be safe for pregnant women or or nursing women because I know retinol is a product that the doctors don't recommend you use while being pregnant or nursing so yeah make sure to check with your doctor I just want to make sure you know pregnant and nursing mothers out there um, I don't know if it matters because it's in a cream I'm not a I'm not a doctor so you would have to check with your OBGYN uh, your doctor before you use this cream because it has retinol in it 
So I have another amazing body cream that I'm super excited to have. This I have heard so many good things about. It's a body cream by Kiehl's, you know, the brand Kiehl's. It is a soy milk and honey whipped body butter and here it is. Oh my goodness, I really, really love this. I actually tried this in store, again, when I took you all with me, you know, shopping with me. Uh, it's actually sealed. I'm gonna open it a little bit just to show you guys. I'm gonna open it, you know. Here it is, so this is what it looks like. It's um, like a beautiful whipped butter looking cream. The consistency is just divine. Let me show you on this hand. So watch this. This is so hydrating. Look at that. Did you see that? It's super, super moisturizing. Oh, and it smells so good. It has soy milk and honey in it. And I can smell the honey. It's got a nice, pleasant smell and it just feels so moisturizing. Very excited for this. Very, very excited for this. So yeah, I just opened it up now. I'm gonna have to start using this one. I have so many body creams, I don't know why I opened it. So I got two of them from the sale. So because I really needed to have two, you know, because I don't have enough body creams. And of course I had to buy my favorite body wash from Sol de Janeiro. This one is amazing, especially for summertime. It smells divine. It is of course the Brazilian foreplay body wash. It's like a cream gel kind of body wash. It smells so amazing. Um, this is going to be sealed. I'm not going to open it because I have one in the shower already. And I bought three of these, of course, because I had to stock up because I run through this like crazy. Um, this should hold me up for a while. And I, of course, have my um, Luxaton body washes too. So I kind of go back and forth between these two brands when it comes to body wash. This one is such a moisturizing body wash, you guys. Now, when I shower with this and when I come out, it doesn't look like I use soap. You know, my skin is not dry. It's like nice and supple. It just feels luxurious when you shower with this to the point that my husband loves this as well. We both love to use this one. It is amazing. And I love the bottle, by the way. It's like, you know, you can squeeze it to get every last bit out if you want. Love, love this stuff. Every time there's a Sephora VIB sale, I stock up on these because I love this stuff so much. And of course, I had to order my Luxaton Almond Shower Oil. Um, I ordered several of those. Again, that's one of the items that's still on the way. So now we move on to hair care products and I have here a hair oil from Sol de Janeiro. This one is Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Glossy anti frizz hair oil. This one, again, I read a lot of good reviews. I um, heard a lot of good things about this. This one is supposed to be um, an anti-frizz hair oil that you can put wherever you have flyaways, you know, like frizz. It just smooths everything. And it's supposed to be a heat protectant and something that helps with styling your hair. So if you wanna protect your hair against like heat styling, you can apply this, like take a little bit of this to your hands and just kind of run it through, especially the ends of your hair. And then, you know, do your styling. It's supposed to help hold your style and all that. So yeah, it says here, it's a nourishing oil that fights frizz, adds shine, protects against heat and locks in your style while moisturizing and repairing dry damaged hair. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. And let me see. So it's like kind of like a yellow um, oil. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna take some and actually kind of put it on the ends of my hair. Oh, that feels really nice. It looks like it's gonna keep my ends from being crispy, you know? That's kind of like the goal. Hopefully it works really well. Oh, and it smells like obviously the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream, that same amazing scent that we all have come to love so much. And of course, I had to stock up on my Olaplex number three. I got two large bottles. This stuff is amazing. If you guys have not tried this product, what are you doing with your life? You gotta try this product. 
This one is literally a, a hair bonding treatment. It like literally helps bond your damaged hair. It, it repairs your damaged hair and makes it stronger, you know? And I can see that every time my hair feels so damaged or brittle, I do this treatment, you I put it on, and I believe, I can't remember, is it 10 minutes? You leave it on, actually, I usually put this one number zero on. This is a, a um, intense bond building hair treatment as well. So this one is usually like the first product that I put. I spray this on and then you're supposed to put the number three on top of that. Like it used to be that you kind of uh, wet your hair and towel dry and then you put this on before they came out with that product. But now I use that to wet my hair and then follow up with the number three. It works really well together, all these three. So yeah, here's the next product. So I'm gonna introduce it right now. This is the Olaplex number zero, intense bond building hair treatment, which is like a, um, um, a, a product you put before number three. But number three, if you don't wanna get that, you don't have to, you can do this without it. You can wet your hair, towel dry it. You apply this, leave it on for 10 minutes and rinse it off and then follow up with shampoo and conditioner, I believe, which I have the entire Olaplex system. I have number zero to number eight, um, so I have all of them. I actually like to use the shampoo and conditioner from this brand as well when I do this treatment. I kind of stay with the, with the brand. Um, but if you don't have anything else, at least get number three. You can use this, just this product without the other Olaplex ones. You don't need the other ones, but it's nice to have the other ones. This really does work every time my hair feels damaged and brittle. I do this treatment and it just comes right back to life. And I'm surprised that you can get the stuff like without like a prescription or, you know, like um, needing a uh, hairstylist license because it's actually a product that really, really works. So I already talked about this one as well. That's just something that helps with the number three. Oh, so I also had to uh, replenish on my Olaplex number eight. This one is like the last step. This one is a bond intense moisture mask. So essentially this is like the last step after doing all that. Shampoo, condition your hair, and then you're supposed to use this as a hair mask. Leave it on, what is it, 10 or 30 minutes? I cannot remember, honestly. I leave it on for 30 minutes because I'm crazy like that. Um, same with the number three, I actually leave it on for 30 minutes, although it only says like 10 minutes. So yeah, I like this one and this one works really well too. It's a nice conditioning mask. So I love the Briogeo brand as well. You guys know I absolutely love Briogeo brand and I love their Don't Despair Repair Hair Care line. And you know I love their uh, conditioner, the, the Hair Mask Don't Despair Repair Conditioning Mask. Oh, it's one of my favorite masks. I have plenty of it actually, so I didn't buy that this time around. I will buy more during the next Sephora VIB sale. And I get the, you know, the shampoo, the regular conditioner from that same line. I like the other one, like the one that is um, for invigorating your scalp, the blue one. Love all that, but this time around I bought this new product, at least it's new to me. This one is Biorgio Don't Despair Repair uh, Rice Water Protein Moisture Strengthening Treatment. So this is what it looks like. This is again supposed to be a nice um, treatment to kind of give moisture to your hair. So. I heard a lot of good things about it. Let me see what the consistency looks like. So it's like a pink, uh, thick cream. It's, I don't know if you can see the color. It's like lightly pink, like a pastel pink. Um, yeah, it smells like, you know, their products. Um, so yeah, it is supposed to be something that helps your hair moisture level. Um, and I hadn't tried the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength Moisture Leave-In Mask from the that Don't Despair Repair line. It's right here. So I noticed it when I went into the store to buy, buy my stuff and decided to buy it on the spot. So this one is a leave-in uh, treatment which I love to have. I like to style my hair and kind of put like a leave-in treatment. Um, so that's why I got it. Let me try it. 
yeah yeah so it's like a very like lightweight kind of um, leave-in treatment that you can spray on after you style your hair or maybe even before so yeah it's a nice product it seems it had good reviews so I wanted to try that and I ran out of my leave-in treatment so it's perfect timing. Um, now we're moving on to skincare products. I have a, a few here this time around. So I got a new skincare product this time that I noticed in store. Guys, usually I tend to stick to skincare products that my dermatologist you know, prescribe to me or, or recommend to me, but I do buy a few just, you know, from Sephora and places, um, just over the counter stuff. And this one is a new one that I noticed online when I was placing my first order. It had amazing reviews, so that's what convinced me to buy this. And it is a resurfacing saffron mask, and it is by the brand Renovat. I am not familiar with this brand. I don't know if any of you know anything about this brand. And it had like rave reviews on Sephora and I just really, really wanted to try it out. So this is what it looks like in there. So it's supposed to be a mask that has a lot of saffron in it. I don't know if you all know about this um, saffron in India. It, they put it in milk correct me if I'm wrong, my friends from India, they put it in milk and they drink it. It's supposed to make your skin beautiful and they also apply it on like like topically on the face um, with other stuff, you know, so saffron is supposed to have like these qualities that are so good for your skin. So that's kind of like why I bought this because I already know that saffron tends to have that quality. Um, so when I saw this, I was very excited to try it. So this is what it looks like. It's like a gel um, type of product. And I see strands of threads of saffron in there suspended in the gel. And of course, it's the color of saffron. So there's saffron blended into it as well. It is supposed to be a fast acting regenerative mask for dull dehydrated skin that promotes a smooth glowing and healthy complexion. It says it's for all skin types and it's supposed to address like concerns with fine lines and wrinkles, pores and dullness. So, so this is what the, the actual gel looks like in there. Uh, let me put a little bit on my skin here. It's just a gel cream. It's really hard to, you know, say if it's good or bad by just rubbing it on your skin, obviously. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So I can't wait to try this and see if it actually works. I am very excited to try this product. In fact, I'm going to put it out to start using right away. I'll give you guys an update on all these skincare items in a separate skincare video coming up. Many of you have been requesting a skincare routine video, so I'll definitely try and do one for you. So from the same brand, I also got a brightening saffron serum. This is also supposed to be like a brightening skin, you know, brightening, clearing type of serum. Let me get this one out. I'm gonna put these two to use right away because I'm very excited to try them. Okay, so yeah, this is like the similar type of product. It's a brightening saffron serum. It's more of a liquid, you know, as you can see. So it's like a serum. So you guys, actually it's a very neat uh, bottle. So you twist it up like this and you open it up and you're supposed to be able to, of course, use the dropper here with this thing. You squeeze, you know, push this thing down and, you know, you get the, the serum. So this is what it looks like running down the back of my, my hand there. Uh, it has a light scent to it. I can smell the saffron and some floral scents in here. It smells very pleasant. It actually feels luxurious. So it says on the Sephora website that it's an award-winning lightweight brightening facial serum for all skin types. It is uh, supposed to address dullness, uneven texture, and acne and blemishes. Now that part really appeals to me because I've been getting a lot of breakouts with my, you know, fun time of the month. And uh, whenever I get that, I, I tend to break out. So 
that really piqued my interest so I'm definitely going to put this to the test and I'll give you guys an update so and then I have here something from Glow Recipe the brand Glow Recipe it's a strawberry smooth BHA and AHA salicylic serum so this is what it looks like so this is supposed to be something that helps you with like acne or acne scarring and stuff like that it's a obviously HA BHA um, serum that exfoliates obviously your skin I saw some good reviews on this product so excited to try it it's obviously fruit AHAs and BHAs you know strawberry you know it's supposed to be a powerful yet soothing AHA BHA acid serum that gently smooths, addresses the appearance of breakouts and visibility refines pores for clear hydrated skin so yeah it's supposed to address pores uneven texture and acne again concerns that I'm having right now so I just really really want to try this product out with the the other saffron uh, serum and gel that I bought so this is what it looks like and this one is so it's like that's what the consistency I'm just gonna show you the consistency um, yeah I mean I can't really judge it from just putting it on my skin once obviously but yeah it feels like a nice lightweight um, very almost like gel like watery cream um, serum so I'll try that and I'll let you guys know again in my skincare video that's coming up soon. And then I have this product right here. Again, I bought this solely based on reviews I read online. This is uh, from the brand Alphen Beauty, which I'm not familiar with or wasn't until now. And it is the Wild Huckleberry 8 Acid Polishing Peel. So this is what it looks like and again rave rave reviews that you know that this is supposed to be amazing it's supposed to be like an amazing uh, like a peeling mask type thing so let me open thing and i show you it's kind of a thick um kind of a light pink uh cream type mask let me put a little in the back of my hand so you can see so this has some grittiness to it um, so obviously there are some chunks of stuff in there so this is supposed to be a mask that you put on and obviously you wait some time I don't know I'll have to read the instructions and then you're supposed to scrub your face off with it when you wash it off so it's supposed to do, do like two things you know uh, exfoliating and of course um, doing the mask part it is a peel powered by eight natural acids bamboo powder and vitamin C to visibly resurface skin, refine pores, and even texture, and brighten in minutes. Again, it's for all skin types, and again, it's supposed to address pores, dullness, uneven texture, which are all things that I always want to fight against, you know, keep your um, face just, you know, poreless and without any texture and even skin tone. Can't wait to try this. Had amazing rave reviews online. Now I have here the Hyaluronic Acid 2% Serum by The Ordinary, the brand Ordinary. I like the brand Ordinary because it's, you know, it really works. It's inexpensive. It's not super expensive. It's an inexpensive, affordable uh, brand and they have you know skincare that really works that have gotten a lot of really good reviews so this is a basic hyaluronic acid you know serum which I always use a vitamin C serum a hyaluronic acid serum and I use you know moisturizer to follow up and of course I do masks like you know the masks I buy so this is you know just like your typical hyaluronic acid serum there's nothing fancy to show just you know like a nice hydrating hyaluronic acid you know hyaluronic acid supposed to plump your skin and everything so yeah so I already know what this is like I've had this before I've finished a few bottles I have a Korean hyaluronic acid that I really like to use I forget the name it's kind of hard to remember the name so I bought that as a backup now I also got this 
Kopari Lip Scrubby. It's what it's called. It's obviously a lip scrub by the brand Kopari. This is supposed to have like the have like volcanic ashes or something in here as well. It just piqued my interest when I read reviews of it. Been needing a lip scrub. I ran out of my lip scrub and I was on the market for a lip scrub and I wanted to say, try something new. As you can see here, that bit on the uh, cap here, it is got like quite a bit of large chunks of what appears to be like a little bit of sugar and some other stuff like supposed to have volcanic ashes like I said so yeah I mean it feels nice and you know got this texture that helps you scrub dead skin off your lips I gotta say I love the size of the grains of this scrub because sometimes you get scrubs with too large or too tiny grains of whatever like sugar or salt or whatever they put in there for scrubbing and I also got this lip mask from the brand Fresh. It's a Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. I'm always, always interested in lip masks because boy, do my lips get super dry during the cold months. I mean, now they're kind of behind me, the coldest of the months, but even in springtime, my lips can get a little chapped uh, they get super dry if I don't constantly keep them hydrated, moisturized, scrubbed. Fresh is obviously a very good brand. See, one thing I don't like are these like little things that come with this type of um, items. I'm going to lose this in like a day. There's no way I'm going to keep that. And this feels nice. It feels like a, a nice sort of um, hydrating consistency. Uh, if you can see that and I can... I can see how this would be very moisturizing. So I went a little nuts on the sunscreen because you know those months are coming up when you need to wear sunscreen the most. Although you should wear sunscreen even during winter in the cold months, even when there's no sun, you gotta wear sunscreen. But you know during the hot summer months, you especially need sunscreen. So I got this one. Uh, first one I got was this right here. This is the Super Goop Daily Dose vitamin C plus SPF so this is SPF 40 the reason why this got my attention was because this is not only a sunscreen but it's got vitamin C in it so it sounds interesting to me so this is what the bottle looks like it is a two-in-one high potency vitamin C serum with SPF 40 that visibly brightens skin and targets the two main causes of dark spots UV and blue light. Of course, blue light is from the screens, which we always stare at all the time. And then UV rays from the sun, it protects against both. Um, I wonder how stable the vitamin C is in here, because you know, vitamin C is really hard to keep stable. So this is actually SPF 40 PA++++, which is really good. Actually, the best is SPF 50 PA++++, but, um, but it's really good. 40 is really good. Um, I can't wait to try this. I wonder what the oops, consistency is. It's very runny. So it's definitely going to be very like undetectable under the, the makeup, which is what, you know, attracted me to this sunscreen because I love sunscreens that you can't even detect on the skin. You know, it doesn't have that white cast. Um, so my guess is that this one must be a chemical sunscreen because if it's a physical sunscreen, you do have that, you know, white cast thing. I got this for more of those days where I'm just driving into work, you know, I'm not exposed to the sun all that much, but I need some, some, you know, sun protection underneath my skin. So I also got another sunscreen. Now this one is also by Supergoop. It is Unseen Sunscreen. This is again SPF 40 PA++++. This one is supposed to be like a primer for your makeup that has sunscreen. So it's undetectable on the skin. If you wear it just this on your skin, you won't be able to see it. It also have underneath your makeup, you wouldn't be able to detect it. The consistency, you can see, oh, I'm gonna have to open it, don't I? To show you the consistency. So it's supposed to be like a gel type one that is totally like undetectable, which it is. As you can see so it's like a, a gel type 
sunscreen that goes underneath your makeup it's like a makeup gripping primer anyway I got another one here by Tatcha again another sunscreen this is the silk sunscreen this one is SPF 50 PA++++ again SPF 50 is the best because that's the highest that you go without it being like the same you know after SPF 50 I hear that it's the same whether it's 70 100 whatever it's just a number after that so this one is uh, got like this really flat nice bottle that you can just kind of slide into your purse or whatever you know you can carry with yourself to like replenish as you know you do need to replenish your sunscreen of course if you're not wearing makeup um, every like two hours hydrating mineral shield one so this is a mineral sunscreen which is good mineral sunscreens are good they are like physical sunscreens that are minute mineral if I'm not mistaken so this one is actually quite undetectable as well it was kind of like a milky consistency and it would be one that goes well underneath makeup and it was a little tinted I don't know if you saw that so you can see from the spout that it's got a little bit of a tint to it like a skin color tint you know now I also bought my ride or die cotton pads right here I should have mentioned this in my ride or die makeup products video I'll link it up here down in the description box these are my Ride or Die Shiseido cotton pads and they are the only cotton pads I would use. People say, oh my gosh, why would you use such special cotton pads? You know, are you that bourgeoisie or bougie, you know? Um, but it's not though, seriously. This one has like 160 cotton pads or something in here. And if you actually uh, do the math, this is like only 12 bucks. If you do the math, you will see it's actually almost the same price as drugstore cotton pads that don't work at all very well. They have like the residue and the, the, the stuff that kind of like stays on your skin. It drives me nuts. This doesn't shed like the, you know, like the drugstore cotton pads. They are perfectly square and absorbs like a lot of like, you know, like toner, whatever you're using to, to rub on your face absolutely love it and they're big about this size and you can even cut them in half if you want like you know to use them longer they are the best cotton pads period you need them grab them during the Sephora sale and the last skincare item I got was the Tatcha clarifying clay mask that had like rave reviews it's supposed to be really good Again, it's one of the items that is still on the way. Okay, now on to the makeup products. So that took a while. Woof, I have too much products. So I have here a bunch of makeup products. So I'll just like start with whatever I grab first. So you guys saw that I had the Danessa Myricks um, Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette in a different, uh, you know, color story, more like peaches and pinks and corals type palette. And now this one is another one. I don't know if this has a name for like the shades. Yeah, it has like four shade names right here. So this is like a um, another lip and cheek palette that serves more like like bronzers, really cream bronzers. So this is what it looks like. My other palette acts more like, like cream blushes, although they're lip and cheek palettes both. So this one has four different shades, like I said, would work really well on from light to deep skin tones. As you can see, it comes in several shades that would work on all skin tones. And this shade right here, this one, it looks almost like a blush and this one could be a blush as well. And, and so could this, I guess. But yeah, this is supposed to be more of a, like a bronzer. I think I would much rather use a, uh, a beauty blender with this product uh, with, the, uh, with how emollient it is. So that is what it swatches like without blending. Let me swatch all four. So this is what they look like, all four swatched. Um, yeah, I mean, they would work as bronzers or even blushes that are a little bit more earth toned. Now, I also have this, this foundation that I bought from Ilia. This one is a super serum skin tint, broad spectrum SPF 40. So this one actually has SPF, SPF 40. This one is more of a serum consistency and it's supposed to be more of a, a 
not really a foundation like a like a skin tint that's supposed to just even out your skin tone and doesn't make you look like you're wearing makeup so this type of product is amazing because especially because it has sunscreen to wear on a daily basis when you are just like run into your kids soccer game or you're going to the store or you're running errands in the summertime you know so this is what the consistency looks like and it's something that you would you know appreciate on days where you don't want to really wear a full face of makeup but rather you want to make your skin look healthy and even and it would give you sun protection you know so really interested in this one and obviously it's well rated I don't buy anything that's not very well rated and I got another foundation this one is Dio forever matte foundation and I've been meaning to try this I have it in the shade 4 and I went in the store I bought this with you guys in that vlog in the store I tried shades and this was like the best closest shade for my my skin tone and in Dior my shade is usually either 4N or 4W so yeah let me pump a little bit here this one matched my skin the best when I tried in store obviously a great match this is supposed to be very lightweight and yeah it is um, foundation that's uh, matte not not dewy rather matte and it really did look at that like this is the foundation hand and this is without you can tell the difference and it really kind of gave me a decent amount of coverage uh, without looking cakey it's very very lightweight and feels very comfortable it's very well rated so I do prefer like matte more like a satin finish when it comes to foundations not a huge fan of super dewy foundations so there's a dewy version of this as well I forget the name now and of course I got my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This one is my Ride or Die Pore Filling Primer. I talked about this in great length in my Ride or Die video. I'm not gonna stay here very long. I'll link it up here and down in the description box. This is like a, like a pore filling primer. You can tell by the consistency. I tend to use this right on my troubled areas right near the T-zone where there are larger pores. And then I tend to go in with my Tatcha silk canvas primer that um, you know is for all over face obviously i just remembered that i forgot to order backup of my tatcha silk canvas primer so yeah i gotta get on that i so i got the kosas concealer after hearing so many rave reviews about this online here it is and read a lot of really good reviews on sephora so let me put it right there um oh yeah this is the kind of consistency i'm gonna appreciate i can just tell by the way it went on my skin it i like this kind of like not too thick not too light but like high coverage but weightless type concealers like the pat mcgrath one and the tom ford concealer the new one and i have here the huda beauty the new cheek sticks what are they called cheek tint blush stick these look really juicy on instagram and i tried them in store so this is what it looks like i got it in the shade coral cutie so this is what it looks like so i'm running out of space now i'm going to put it right here um, it is like this really beautiful like flushed look natural look which I love about cream blushes as you know and this is really user friendly to apply and just sort of tap it out with your fingers or you can use the butt of your beauty blender so I also bought a blush stick from Tarte which I tried in store with you guys it's this beautiful cheek tint that's another cheek tint that looks so natural and like flushed like a natural flush so good I can't wait to receive it to try it on I um, mean again another product you can use just use with your fingertip I also bought a backup of my Fenty contour stick the matchsticks contour stick in the shade mocha that's still on the way as well so now I have this stuff from Gwen Stefani's new makeup line it is called GXVE strange name but anyway I bought like several products from her line her her makeup line 
Um, and this is supposed to, you know, get you that uh, signature Gwen Stefani look with the red bold lips and that gorgeous sort of like dark um, wash of color on the eyes. Here is the first item. This one is the satin lipstick or the matte lipstick. So I bought both. Yeah, this one is satin. So this is her satin lipstick. Um, I accidentally bought this thinking this was matte, but I'm glad I bought both actually. I'm going to keep both. So this is what it looks like. It's like her signature bold red. It's like a blue red, you know. Um, it's got blue undertones, which makes it like super like nice and bold. And this one is the matte one. I bought this in store with you guys in that blog. So I love the bullets, by the way. Isn't it nice black and white like that? And with like GXVE on it. It's very nice attractive packaging if you ask me and yeah look at the bullet too you know it's got the same lettering the name of the brand and this is what the matte one looks like and let me switch it right next to the the satin one so you can see the difference so this one is the matte and that one is the satin one you can definitely tell that the matte one is a lot more bold obviously by the way in store I tried Gwen Stefani's liquid matte lipstick and it didn't impress me right away because when I put it on swatched it it looked still wet it wasn't drying fast enough but I read reviews later that it does dry and it doesn't budge so I bought it and it's still on the way. I wanna do like a Gwen Stefani makeup line review for you. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see me put these on my face and try them out. I can do like a, a separate full review video for you. And this one is the eye palette, it's an eye quad. Um, this is the one that most reminded me of Gwen, um, like her signature look. It is like one that you can get like really nice sultry looks with. This is gonna help me get like a particular look. I'll tell you what it is. Let me first show you the, the packaging. This is what it looks like. Again, half black, half white. And this is what the palette looks like inside. This is like her darkest um, cool tone palette, which usually dark skin people like me, like tan skin, tend to shy away from like these type of cool tone palettes, but I think it's a mistake, you guys. It can look really nice on us too. It just depends on how you use them, you know? These shadows, when I swatched them in store with you guys in that vlog you saw, these are silky, like very silky, almost like, I'm, I'm not gonna say Tom Ford because Tom Ford is like on another level, you know? These are silky, they do really swatch really really well as you can tell the thing that I noticed was that the black shade has some specks of glitter in it and they seem to me at first in the store to be a little bit like loose in there I thought they would just fall out but they don't seem to you guys they actually seem to stay on and the reason why I bought this palette is because as you can tell they're not like super pigmented when you swatch them. They are gonna be like a light wash of colors, you know, depending on how much pressure you use as well. But this particular black shadow, uh, it's gonna be lovely, like there's this look. I will try to find a picture, if I can, can I will put it up here. It's like not your like pigmented, like all over black kind of smoky eye, but rather, almost like a light version of a smoky eye that you can do to get a sultry look, like a light wash. Um, that look, oh, it'll be so good to do that look with this palette. So I am going to do a tutorial for you guys if you want. Let me know down in the comment section if you wanna see that. I also got her eyebrow pencil and eyeliner. Oh, this eyeliner, you guys. Ha, oh, so good. Let me show you, like watch this. So this is what the eyeliner looks like. I mean, it just is like butter. Look at that. It is super black and it just glides on and it's just a dream. And this is the kind of black liner that you can smudge and get like smoky looks with. So I'm very excited for this. I know exactly the look I'm gonna do with this. You saw in the vlog, um, she had the one type of eyebrow pencil where it's like super flat, but it is like, you know, very thin on the one side, so you can get those hairline strokes. 
but it was also like that flat eyebrow pencil. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the Anastasia has like the brow whiz and the, the other one, it's the same way. I accidentally bought the one I really would have picked if I saw it because I didn't see a tester for this. This one is the like the brow, um, precisely my brow kind of like the benefit precisely my brow kind of tip. So yeah, I'm very excited. It looks like it's really gonna work. And I got another one of the benefit precisely my brow um, pencil obviously because I ran out. These are all restocks for me you guys. These aren't new products and these aren't new products for you guys. You know what it looks like, you know what the pen tip looks like. You get some real nice hairline strokes with this. One of my favorite eyebrow pencils of all time. So yeah, that's a restock. I got my Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil as well. This is like the bum brow or whatever. Um, yeah, this one is a another restock. I bought two of these actually. I should have two. Yeah, I have two right here. So I, I bought two of them because I go through these really quickly. The one problem with this pencil is that it just, you use it up real fast. I mean, this one has like the most tiny little hairline looking um, tip ever. And you can get those really, see, it breaks easy by the way. If you put too much pressure, it breaks. That's the only problem with this. But if you use the right amount of pressure, it gives you like the most natural looking hairline strokes get you gotta be very careful with it but then i also got this natasha denona um, um microblade liquid liner so this one was really good i tested this in store and it had a nice brush tip which i which i love you guys know i love a nice brush tip and it drew really nice little um lines and this is going to be one that's very user friendly even for those who are not very good with like wing liners this is like one that looks quite like nice and black and by the way after applying this on it didn't come off see it's still drying but i mean i rubbed it before it dried but it just doesn't come off easy so this is going to be nice and matte and like stay put for a long time and then i bought another one of my huda beauty legit lashes i love this stuff i put it in my ride or die video as well. This one has two ends. Uh, one end is for volumizing and the other end is for curling and lengthening eyebrows. You see the shape of the, the brush there. These, this really works. It makes you look like you have false lashes on. I love this mascara. I love the Pat McGrath one. Um, so yeah, I got another one because I'm running out. And then I got this mascara here by Rare Beauty. I heard so much about this. So many people raving about it. Perfect Strokes Mascara. So this is what it looks like. Um, Rare Beauty is an affordable brand. So this is what the thing looks like. And here is the brush shape. This shape is usually a very good shape to get like really nice, you know, eyelashes. I'm excited to see if the hype is real, you know. And I have some lip products now, that's what we have left. So I have got here the new Natasha Denona I Need a Rose lipstick in the shade Peony. I wanted to get Dahlia, but they were out, so I couldn't get Dahlia, so this is what the bullet looks like. It's really nice, I like the, the bullet. And this is the actual lipstick shade, so that's what it looks like. I love Natasha Denona's lipsticks, so I have the nude lipsticks, a few of her nude lipsticks as well. And I got the corresponding lip liner, the Peony lip liner from the I Need a Rose line. And her lip liners are pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna swatch it right next to, yeah, they're buttery. I mean, it just glided on um, the lip liner. Very, very good really really good so i got the corresponding lip liner and i got the dahlia lip liner and i ordered dahlia lipstick online it's still on the way it's one of the products that are still on the way <coughs> let me swatch dahlia lip liner for you although i don't have the lipstick yet so that's dahlia right there and that's peony lipstick and the liner these liners glide right on, They're really, really good. Um, and then I have another of Charlotte Tilbury Superstar Lips. Actually, I have two of them. Uh, I got the shade Sexy Lips, I think it was. Um, yeah, Sexy Lips. 
and I got pillow top diamonds. So these ones, you guys, I absolutely adore these ones. These are the, the skinny ones that come in this type of component. So you guys, let me swatch this here. These are the best. I mean, they look so juicy and high shine and scrumptious on the lips. Sometimes this camera is not really gonna do justice to things. So yeah, this, this, this superstar line of lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury is so good. And in particular, these diamonds ones, they have like this like, like not, I'm, I wouldn't say glitter, like specks of shimmer in it that somehow don't look like glitter and shine instead almost like you have wet shiny glass lips, you know? So here it is right there. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. Do you see that? This one is kind of almost like two-toned. I mean, these look so good on your lips and they look make your lips look like pouty and delicious, you know? Now, I also got the Too Faced Lip Injections in the shade Pretty Pony. Is it Pretty Pony? Yeah. Um, these are plumping lip glosses and the component is Adorbs, isn't it? These are really good with plumping, like they really are plumping lip glosses. I'm telling you, it burns a little bit, especially like the super plumping ones. This one is in the super plumping ones, but the super one like burns a little bit more than the average person probably would want. But this one isn't too bad. Now, do you see how high shine that is? I really like it and it's very plumping too, like a nice plumping lip gloss. So has like a really yummy, delicious scent to it. So that's it, you guys. Those are the products from my massive Sephora sale haul part one. I might do a part two with the items that have not arrived yet. So I'm waiting to receive them still. Let me know down in the comment section if you want to see a part two with the rest of the products that haven't arrived yet so I can tell you more details about them. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section. I did mention them sprinkled here and there in this haul, but I of course didn't go into details about them because they're not physically here to talk about. I hope you enjoyed this video, this massive, massive Sephora VIB sale haul part one i'll bring you part two if you want me to and let me know down in the comment section what did you buy from this sephora sale i would love to know what you bought anything you discovered that's new that we should all know about chime down in the in the comment section share the love you guys share the love you know like i do i share everything i buy with you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ring the notification bell right next to it so that you will never miss any of my videos and don't forget to follow me on instagram i will see you guys in my next video